while I'm heading down to the river here to do some early October brown trout fishing. We might pick up a couple of rookies too, but mainly it's browns. Looks like I should have brought my shotgun because I've already flushed three grouse on the way in here. Might have to come back and do a little grouse hunting later, but um, yeah, we're just going to be throwing hardware here for browns. They should be moving up to this upper section of the river to spawn right now. And uh, the bigger fish will be in a lot shallower, rockier areas than they would be the rest of the year. So hopefully we can target a couple of uh, big ones. So let's get at it. All right, so I'm at the river. I got a nice run behind me here. So what I'm gonna be doing today is throwing uh, stick baits, little mini stick baits. These are Euro Tackle um, Z Spenders. And I did a video on uh, using these this spring and it, I caught a couple nice browns in the same area. So um, this has been a good bait. I'm gonna start with that. I've got 10 pound Berkeley Nano Fill on this rod. It's super easy casting to cast that light bait. And then I've got a eight pound floral leader on here, uh, about six feet long, tied on with the FG knot. So uh, that gives me some nice clarity. The fish can't see that braid, but I can get long casts in. So we're gonna give her a shot here in this first run. Fish on, first cast. First cast. Oh, oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that was freaking awesome. Absolutely first cast on the uh, Z Spender. Absolutely beautiful little brown. Probably a 15 inch or something like that. And uh, that is a great start. We're going to let that guy go here, but that is awesome. So uh, what I'm doing with this bait is I'm casting it upstream slightly or across the current and I'm basically twitch pause, twitch pause and the next retrieve I'll retrieve it straight and uh, kind of alternate retrieves. You don't want to throw down current because it's going to move too slow and up against the current it just doesn't have the right action. Uh, along a seam if you've got some slack water you can retrieve it in that calm water uh, upstream but other than that, across or slightly upstream and alternate retrieves. That's how we're gonna be fishing most of these holes and runs, so. Uh, that first one I just caught was on a twitch pause, twitch pause, so I'd jerk it, let it float, jerk it, let it float, and it smacked it on the pause, so. That, you know, if I get more fish that way, I'll probably fish that type of a retrieve more. First cast on the fly. Come here, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Well, I was just throwing that that uh, jerk bait and didn't get any more bites, so I decided to go a little more subtle. And that guy smoked that stone fly imitation. Another probably 15 inch brown there. Absolutely beautiful fish. Well, that was an awesome start. We got uh, one fish on the jerk bait and one fish on the fly rod here in this little run. And I'm hoping this next big run will have some bigger fish in it. So let's keep moving. Ooh. 
So again, I'm gonna start with that a little bit more aggressive presentation using that stick bait. I'm gonna cast up to the head of the hole first and kind of work my way down. And then there's some slack water downstream here that I might pull it back up through. But I'm hoping there's a fish right here at the head of it. I don't wanna to get too far out there and spook it, so I'm gonna stay back a little bit. Well, it hurts the feelings a little bit to not catch any trout in the best hole in the river, but I just flogged it and I couldn't get a bite, so I'm hoping maybe they're on some more shallow gravel stuff. Um, I don't know if that's where they're at right now, just because of the spawn moving closer or what, but there wasn't any in that deep one, so, or if there were, they weren't biting. We'll just keep moving on. I gotta come up and hit it. He chased it right into the shallows and whacked it. Just a little guy. Pretty little trout. He gets to go back home. Ooh, it looks like a brookie. Yep. Cool. Absolutely awesome little brook trout there. Great spawning colors. He smoked that Z-Viber downstream of me and we're gonna get him back in the water here, but awesome little fish. Oh, fish on. Smacked it. Yeah. Nice little brown. Came off in the net. Nice little fish there. Yeah, it's always good to catch a few. Whoa. There he goes. It's always good to catch a few little guys. Hopefully we can get a bigger one here still. All right, I put on the GoPro here for the rest of the trip down. I'm mainly gonna be wading and uh, casting, so it's pretty hard to film with the regular camera. It's kind of some faster water here, and I just wanna be able to walk and cast, kind of wade down through it back to the truck, so. There's one. Nice little brook trout. Little female. Not nearly as bright colored as that male, but still absolutely awesome fish. Pretty little trout. Pretty cool. So this is basically how I'm approaching all the spots I'm fishing today. I'm coming in with a aggressive bait like this Z-Spender and twitch, twitching it, straight retrieving it. And then I'm switching to something a little more subtle in the same hole to see if I can pick off a less aggressive fish. So that's been working so far. So I'm starting here with this Z-Spender, just uh, pulling it across this hole. See so, you know, if I can get it one to aggressive one to trigger here, and then I'll. Oh, there's one right there. Sure enough. Yeah, it's a nice one. Sweet. Another great little brown. Absolutely beautiful little trout there. He smoked that Z spender right in the middle of that hole and uh, we're gonna get him off here so we can release him but beautiful little fish probably 16 inch brown <laughs> 